So a lot of people make videos to try to scare you, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people will try to scare you into not doing something. And then there's other people that make videos like this that are genuinely trying to help you. I'll let you guys decide which one of those things this video is for. Because there's a major problem you need to know about. If you don't, it could lead to unexpected consequences and even get you banned from platforms That's like true. Amazon. But That's don't true. worry, I've got a solution for you. And in this video, I'll show you why AI can be a risky move, how it can lead to serious penalties, and most importantly, I'll give you several ways you can safely use AI to create quality books faster than ever. To start... Okay, so from what he's saying, he's not trying to completely frighten you out of using AI completely to write books, and I'm going to show you why in a minute from my own experience, okay? But also, he's uh, telling you there are some dangers of using it because just because AI can do a lot of the work for us, there's certain things that we still need to do, okay? Because then everybody starts looking the same. These algorithms from these platforms like KDP, uh, Audible, and all of these different book sales platforms can pick up on like patterns and the algorithms will trigger it and it will alert it and then it will ban your butt. So watch this though. Okay, so here's one of my books. As you can see, the price of my book is uh, $1,200, okay? I've sold it at the 497 point and I've sold it at the 297 point. Now, AI did not create this book. This is from my own uh, you know, mind. This is from my own experience in marketing and business and everything, but it helped me create the outline for it. So like I said, there are certain things that humans need to do and then there are certain things that the AI can le we can leverage the AI for. So make sure you're still you to create the uniqueness when you're using the AI as well. OK, so let's get back to the video. Let me show you the first way AI can save you hundreds of hours of work. Wouldn't it be nice if you could know exactly what to put in your book that would lead to five star reviews and continual sales? The thing is, you can. Let me show you how. Imagine going fishing. But instead of guessing at what bait to use, you could just ask the fish. Exactly. Amazon is like a pond, and it is full of fish, which are the customers. And the thing is, they have already told us what they like and don't like by leaving reviews. Mm -hmm. But how can we get all these reviews compiled into usable data without spending weeks reading them? Well... So this reminds me of the last video of uh, the guy that used AI to build, rebuild Netflix and everything. What I told you guys is if you're going to be a competitor of theirs, especially if they have a bigger marketing budget of yours, the first thing you want to do is solve obvious problems, okay? A lot of these companies get so big that they just sweep stuff under the rug and say, ah, you know, the majority of people like us, so we're not going to fix that. Well, you can make a dent in the industry by taking the time and resources to fix those obvious problems because then that will draft the people over to your platform instead of theirs, okay? So what he's talking about is mining for uh, complaints and uh, through the reviews that people leave on specific you know books and everything let me show you how to start find the top books in your niche and go to the reviews copy and paste all these reviews into chat GPT and use this prompt here's a list of reviews compile a report based on insights learned tell me what people liked and didn't like and give me a list of things to include and exclude from my book nice also tell me what people cared about most and give me a list of action items for the book i am creating not only will this trick save you countless hours of customer research but you have done most of the work you guys comment prompts and i'll like uh send you guys a list of prompts that i use to have ai like create like elaborate uh, book storylines and, and, and outlines and like backstories of characters and all of this extra stuff for my fiction books as well. Fiction books sell like greatly. So I can take a bestseller, take the base of the story, the things that work for it, switch out the characters. That's what they do in Hollywood movies. All the movies are the same. They just switch out the character and switch out locations and little little small stuff but they keep the formula because they're investing billions of dollars so they have to start with something that works that they know will work and then just switch out with things that's interchangeable that's literally all you have to do with books as well and ai will help you do that 
For the second way, you can use ChatGPT. Have you ever been talking to someone and you couldn't follow the conversation? They jump from topic to topic and you just sat there nodding your head. We want to avoid this at all costs with our books because the readers won't sit there and nod. They'll put the book down and leave us a scathing review. We want the information in our books to be clear, concise, and flow logically from one point to the next. But how do we do? And that's what I'm talking about, guys. A lot of you guys will go to ChatGPT and you'll say, mm, I want to make a horror story. <laughs> and you'll just say, ChatGPT, write me a horror story. So check this out. ChatGPT is a smarter search engine. Okay. It's, it's still Google, but it's, it's like Google with a personality. So with ChatGPT, all it can do is provide what it's trained on. You understand what I'm saying? So if you haven't trained it on what uh, you want it to provide for you, then it's going to come up with generic answers and stuff. So when I was teaching my students to build assets using AI and everything, I told them to talk to it like you're like you're speaking with a human. Command ChatGPT as if you're speaking to an employee that you hired. This is what I want. All right. Uh, these are going to be the names of the characters. This is where I want the, uh, the location that I want the story to take place in. This is the time of year around this holiday. OK, the season is going to be this. Um, you know, this is going to be the plot twist and everything like that. You want to put as much uh, uh, as you can put into the prompt so it can derive from, uh, so it can uh, pull from the best stories of the internet because that's what it's doing. And, but it can create something completely unique for you and a list level type book. You understand what I'm saying? So it's still going to do all the writing and everything, but the more detailed you can get as if you're ordering, <laughs> as if you're a 600 pound man, you know, or, <laughs> All right, I'll say a 400 pound man or woman at the drive through and you don't want them to get your freaking order wrong for what you're paying for. You understand what I'm saying? You're going to be that detailed. I said onions and pickles. Why is it celery on here? Right. You see what I'm saying? You want to be that detailed with ChatGPT, And that's where you can get the magnificent you know what I'm saying, results that people get. Do that. We do that with an outline. An outline is like a map for our books. Yeah. Before you start writing, you want to know what you need to write and in what order. And while it used to take weeks to create an outline, this can now be done in minutes with Chad GPT. And the so. good news is you already did most of the work. Let me show you what to do. Just continue the chat you already started for customer research and type this prompt. I'm creating a book on X topic, Based on the customer research, can you create me a book outline? Hmm. In seconds, you will have the start of a solid outline based on customer research. Now, so that's good. So, like one thing he did leave out is in the prompt, you want to make sure you tell uh, ChatGPT the genre. So, I'm guessing based off of the reviews, maybe he just gathered the reviews from one single book. Okay, so if he did that, but he didn't mention that. If he if he gathered those reviews from one book, then ChatGPT will go through those comments and pretty much tell it. He'll be able to ChatGPT. I say he. <laughs> ChatGPT will be able to tell what genre of book it is. Okay, this guy wants to create a horror book, so then you won't have to tell him. So if he do, if he pulled those reviews from one single book. Cool, but if he's taking reviews from a lot of different books and just trying to build a general sense of what a good book could be, it's still going to leave too much guesswork for ChatGPT. ChatGPT, okay, ChatGPT, make me an awesome book based on things that these people like. Well, I mean, is it a gardening book? Where did where did you pull these reviews from? You understand? So he got pretty much everything. Uh, correct in this in this video right here, but j you just have to be way more detailed if you want to create classics. Like I said, I'm able to sell books for three hundred, uh, uh, almost six hundred dollars. Now I bump the price up to twelve hundred. I let y'all know if somebody buy at that price. I'm just just the book has to be worth it. You understand what I'm saying? Not just some like <laughs> repurposed AI crash crap. You understand what I'm saying? So you want to leverage AI to emphasize on the things that come from your mind as well. Okay. I'm going to blow him up. You may be thinking you could just ask ChatGPT to write the whole book based on your outline, mm -hmm. but 
This brings up the major problem that could get you banned from Amazon. Getting ChatGPT to write your book is a bit like the student who gets caught cheating on a school essay. What's it's that? quick and easy, but the writing often sounds robotic. R2-D2, a pleasure to meet you. I am C-3PO, human cyborg relations. Your book needs to have a human tone and voice. You need true stories to make your points and AI tools often miss the mark here. So best case, you will get a robotic sounding boring book with information that could be wrong. But there is a bigger reason to avoid this. Imagine spending years publishing books and building passive income to lose it in an instant. Well, this is what will happen if you get busted for plagiarism. If you copy and pay- And that's what I was talking about, guys. If you just tell ChatGPT to build or, or write a book for you about romance, everybody is typing that in. So it can only like come up with so much on its own. You gotta help it. You understand what I'm saying? You wanna say, hey, um, I want to uh, um, I want to take the storyline, like the base storyline from you know this bestseller romance novel. The notebook. I don't know. I'm just making one up. I never read that before. So take the best selling storyline, you know, from that book. Right. But switch the characters names to this. On top of that, make it take place during the 20s when people did not like it. Make them an interracial couple. Mm, when they could die from actually being in love, okay? The woman is uh, white, the man is black. You understand what I'm saying? See, now like, now this book is complete, turning, uh, taking something that worked, the storyline from no, the notebook book, whatever, <laughs> or Twilight or some crap like that, and now it's becoming something completely different. Now it turned into an interracial love story taking place in the 20s, right? So it's like a, 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 a action romance because now the, the black man is on the run trying to like, you know, uh, trying to survive and live and everything like that while still trying to figure out how to still be in love with her. What state or city could they go to where people would accept their love and all of this extra stuff? Just a simple tweak of saying, okay, make it an interracial couple during the 20s in the South. Boom. Now it's no longer the notebook book anymore, but it has the working elements of that book. But I made it way more interesting. Now, ChatGPT can create an outline for that, and then ChatGPT will be able to like actually write the story for it. You just tell ChatGPT, go ahead and write. Boom. Now you got a super interesting bestseller that's 10 times better than The Notebook. <sighs> anyway, it's awesome. You understand what I'm saying? So if you know how to leverage AI the correct way, you can kill it. You can leverage AI to uh to write a book and if you guys want me to do a series like go live where i show you how i create my assets pause using ai then i can do that just put it in the um in the in the comments say series type series if i get enough people saying series in the comments i'll go live and i'll just show you guys how i do my workflow of uh, my ai workflow all right love you